hello and welcome back with another video another day and another new scenario and then this time it will be aqua park as it's called and then um, yeah i mean look at that look at the company value we achieved in uh, dinky park or well a uh, post stamp park as i uh, named it quite fittingly i'd say but uh, this is undone in only two years and i mean 35 well, almost 36 grand is um, quite a good achievement. So, um, but that's in the past. Let's focus on the present, which is Aqua Park. Ooh, so a park which is water-based. Oh, really? Who would have guessed? Aqua Park. Man, what a surprise! So basically, 900 guests, year three, rating of 600. Piece of cake. Um, all we gotta do is make it happen. Okay, so this is good. So, let's see, what do we have? I see quite an awesome water slide, number one. <laughs> wow. Wow. That is decent, I'd say. And decently underpriced as well. So, first of all, we are gonna change this. Um, oh, this is bad. Um, I'll take a look at this last, but this is really bad because guests will never ever get back to the station uh, like this. As a matter of fact, oh yeah, they can go underneath it here, underneath the path, but this is really, really bad design here. Um, so then we, oh, we have stuff here. River Rapids 1. So basically they didn't name any of it. Wow, look at that. They even went underground with it. That's quite awesome. I haven't done that myself. Oh, look at this. And these hedges here. Which <laughs> is a bit buggy here, but... <laughs> oh, man. This is cool stuff, man. I mean, they've done pretty awesome stuff that... Fuck, man. I can't get in the jealousy. I didn't think of it myself, but... Yeah, good stuff. So, and it is underpriced as well. So, let's crank this up. Oh, you know what I should do as well? Because just from experience, I know that the developers never put this at 10 minutes. So, we got a water slide, which is cool. We got a river rapids, which is also quite awesome. I mean, really cool. Oh, and we got... Yeah. So, I mean... Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. It is actually quite a large park. A bit hilly. But it is quite large. And here I see... I mean, this is two... Yeah, this is two rides, though. Phew! I was about to say, man. If this was one lock fume, it would be <laughs> freaking terrible. Um, so, we got two lock fumes. Let's see what they're doing. In terms of uh, excitement and... Alright, not so bad actually. And they aren't majorly underpriced, but still, stuff can be better. Now here, I do need to take a look at... Look, whoa, what the fuck, man. Four minutes. Four and a half minutes. Holy crap. And this, for some reason, this one's much shorter, but... I don't know why, really. Maybe it's... weird? That is quite weird. Ah, well, anyway, what we need to do here is set up the minimum wait time. So this has 10 boats, this as well. Um, so this one was four and a half minutes, which... Oh man, this is going to be embarrassing, because... <laughs> Um, anyway, I think this is like 500 seconds or something. So we are going to put this at 10 minutes, as always. But what we need to do here is put this at 45 seconds as well. <laughs> I can actually overshoot the minimum <laughs> waiting. Oh, no, it goes up. All right, all right. Let's put this at 45. And let's put this at 50. I mean... Or 60, I mean, let's make it one minute. But otherwise, you know, it's, it's going to be long, empty periods before any train leaves the station. 
it is synchronized though so I'm not quite sure if I mean because it, these are gonna be offset a bit you know maybe I should just make them equal to this one the longest one yeah that's what I'm gonna do because I don't know if I you know if I make the these have different minimum waiting times then obviously they won't go uh, synchronized so let's just make them equal in terms of waiting times and stuff yes that's a sound plan indeed okay so now that this is taken care of the only thing I need to do is set the timing you know the re the inspection timing and what eight fuck no two bucks man all right so now that that's set up um let's actually take a look at what we have available i mean this is all built so and it's built properly it's done well so i need to take a look at that so this has all the basics with this is crap. <laughs> oh, no, it's not crap. It's only one. This is good stuff. I mean, we've got plenty of material to work with here. And, yeah, some stuff. And this is not important. Okay, good stuff. Um, let's set up the research. And, uh, oh, it's on maximum funding. Good stuff. So we should go with this for now. What else? What else? Staff. Wow, one handyman <laughs> for the whole freaking park. <laughs> Way to go. Actually, I mean, you'll be my emergency handyman. And, um, yeah, what we need is another mechanic, really. So, hello, new mechanic. Actually, I think I'll hire another two, because, I mean, if you look at this, it's freaking large, this park. Oh, fuck, and I need... Yeah, this is gonna be quite boring just for now, but what I need, you know, is to get the whole park covered. Otherwise, things will go out of control really fast. Don't worry though, I mean, I'll be quick about it, but this just has to be done. So bear with me here for a moment as I set this up. And I'm seeing great things happening in this park. I mean, it got space, you know, and it has good stuff in it already. So this is uh, looking to be quite a good park. At least I think it will be. Now, another good thing is that all the infrastructure and such is there already. So what I think what I'll do is just stick with the path thing that these developers uh, made already you know that's pre-made because I think that is quite all right I mean it offers plenty of space to work with you know and options to expand and stuff and several ways to greatness which is where we're heading um, all right getting better yeah till here good stuff Oh man, I wish the developers... Well, no. I mean, the game isn't that challenging anyway, so... <laughs> I mean, I was about to say, like, I wish the developers did this for me, but no, not really. I mean, it's already not that much challenge in the game, so... Oh well. Wait, the Handyman 6? Oh, I was waiting for this icon here when it just appeared. Alrighty, good stuff. Um, so while we're at that, let's hire two security guards too. And let's get two entertainers. A tiger and an elephant. Alrighty, now then. So this is set up. What I need to do now, I mean this is the first thing I need to do. And that is close this down and start building stuff because this is just gonna end in tears really so <laughs> um, I mean 
we did this in uh, Bumbly Beach and it actually worked out quite fine. But when I mean, I'm not going to build it just like that. So what we're going to do instead is give it a nice tour around this island. You know? It's just so that the guests at least have something to do. And like this, hop up. Okay, how cool would it be if they go past the station again? Yeah. Like this, very cool. I mean, I'll slam down a few fountains and uh, maybe, I mean, maybe this ride will also improve in ratings now. I don't know, we'll see, but... And done. Alrighty, open this up. I mean, and while we're at it, I mean, since we're focusing on this now, let's go with... Nah. Pink. Alright, I mean, pink and white. Okay. Um, do it your DIY, I think that is the English abbreviation for it. DIY love boats. <laughs> <laughs> With a smiley. No, 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 no. We shouldn't make a smile. We should make a wink. <laughs> uh huh, uh huh. All right. And actually, I mean, I'm kind of. Whoa! Look at this. They got everything researched. Hold on a sec, mate. Wow. Canoes, rowing, and <laughs> swan pedal boats. <laughs> All in the same colors, and they're all gonna be pink. <laughs> now, different colors per boat. I mean, let's make them, you know, like this. I mean, since we're doing boring and tedious stuff here anyway. Boat four. I mean, it's not like there's 12 boats here, so. <laughs> boat five. Boat six gonna be white uh, and we need to have one black I mean how cool is this I don't know what a ratings on it will be but I mean I'll check back on this later <laughs> uh, cool cool stuff all right um, so I mean we got much stuff here already so more I actually forgot and I kind of want to uh, take a look at that and that is um, how we are gonna expand here because I haven't really figured that out yet but as far as I'm concerned, concerned, excuse me, bad English here. I'm just gonna expand along, you know, from the entrance towards here, and just build stuff alongside the path as we go. All right. So now that that's set up, or well, now that that's decided by me and by me only, um, let's unpause the game here and build some of the important stuff actually because we don't have any of this and it is direly needed okay then and there's none of this at the moment in the park so okay um Let's build another one of these. I mean, you just need to have a lot of them, you know. That's really the trick to it. So, just for now, to get decent coverage of everything, I'm just gonna plunk them down along the road here. You know, it's gonna cost me a few grants, and I probably won't ever get repaid, but... Fuck it. These are investments. Investments in park rating, really. Okay, let's get an ice cream thingy out there, you know, for change. Ooh, in the perfect spot right there. Okay, let's get another drinks one. I mean, otherwise guests will start leaving really quick as well, so... I think this is at the perfect height. It is good stuff. Now let's get another one of your, these toilets out here. And let's get another ice cream because I mean we've got two burger bars so let's go with two ice cream thingies stalls 
Alrighty, so now that we have that covered, let's take a look at the benching situation here. And this is going to make that a whole lot easier. So basically, benches have been neglected so far. So at these exits, we'll build a whole freaking lot of them. Um, for the rest though, I mean, there's a few of them here and there. It's not that bad actually. I've seen parks that were worse. Look at that, they even placed light posts on the ground. Oh no, that's not on the ground. So let's just place a few here along the path. I know it's not interesting at all to watch me do this, but believe me, once it's done, we won't have to do much of it again. So just bear with me. Alright. So let's get also a few trash cans out there. There, there, there. Oh man. Boring. Oh man. I know, I know. Necessities. Necessities. What to do about them. Okay, good, good. Get in there, hang in there. And done. Alright. So, next time. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, let's at least build some useful stuff. What's well, been all been useful, but let's get in scramble legs out there, right? So, we can at least say we built a ride. Um. Let's actually build it back one more. Like over here. Yeah. I'm gonna put the entrance there. And the exit here. And uh, Oh, perfect. Alright. First of all, let's quickly set this up. Um, yes. There we go. Wow. A ferris wheel. Yay. Actually, this should have test results as well on the love boats, which is still exactly the same as it was. I'll crank that. I mean, that will improve quite rapidly, though, um, when we build more attractions close to it, and I'm going to slam down fountains. Don't worry. Don't think I have forgotten that. I will do that. It's just, you know, so much stuff that the developers did not do right away. Oh, fuck. Come on now. Oh, this is ending badly here. Okay, and we fixed it quite quickly. I mean, this is not that bad a ride, you know, so I kind of want to have at least some queue line. Alright. Yes, yes. Um, so... Let's call this uh, the plumbing wheel. Um, for no apparent reason, really. But okay, let's go with uh, blue-gray theming on this, and. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's all perfect. I mean, for a thrill ride, though, I find the low excitement rating not that good, but <laughs> that might be just me. Anyway, now that we have this, we should set up a new handyman. I'm not gonna mow the grass. Come on. Set and don't mow the grass. And you will cover this area as well. Good. Okay, so the plumbing wheel is built, and I mean, for good measure, let's build something else too. Uh, wrong button. You didn't see that happening. Wrong button. 
almost never happens. <laughs> um, can I build that, like, over here? Yeah, 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 this can be done. Awesome. I think we're gonna put it here, with a nice view over the lake and the rest of the park. I think that's quite a nice spot, actually, for it. Really, I mean, yeah. So if we remove these, and then... I'm gonna go with a two-tile queue here. I mean, it doesn't need more anyway. And let's go with a backward rotation. One minute. Uh, one minute. <laughs> Hell no. I don't think it will... Uh, this probably is... It's possible for this to break down, possibly. But I don't think the rowing attraction can break down, as a matter of fact. Not quite sure, but... So, let's go with, uh, yeah, black's good for them supports. Let's we'll do two, and let's go with white. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's definitely not so bad. Alright, so let's call this the snowflake. Wait, let's call this the slow flake. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I am so sharp and clever with my wordplay. <laughs> oh, well, at least it's my own opinion. Um, then, we are gonna make this as short as possible, like this. And voila, hooked up, I'm ready to go. Okay, well, that was um, not so bad at all. I saw they went with these light posts over here, so we're gonna go with that as well. Oh, we can definitely use a few benches over here. Because guests will be eating burgers, and um, they want benches for that. And I'll give them benches. So, and then as a last thing to do for this video, um, let's build the haunted mansion. And I see that this is the perfect spot for the haunted mansion. After I've cleared off all this greenery here. Yeah, why not? How cool would it be if it is right above? Yeah, fuck yeah, man. And just one thing I kind of want to see, and that is... It's going to be at height 13, which is exactly the same height as this path over here. Perfect. This couldn't have been done any better. So... Yeah. Like this. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Ten minutes. I think I can charge two bucks for the Haunted Mansion, but... I don't remember that quite on, from the top of my head, but... We'll see, we'll see. I think this can use a longer queue. Because if I'm right, you know... This uh, ride will be rainproof, so to say, so guys will go on it when it's raining. And you know what we should do as well, is forbid these ex uh, exits from um, being walked to. Yeah, we should do that. Okay, so what I need to do now then, is get two more new handymen. For this area here. Which will be kept ultra clean, because I think this is like the third handyman that is walking this area now, so... Can I see any vomit here? I'm gonna go berserk! Uh, well, no, but... <laughs> they don't know that. <laughs> don't tell. So... Yeah. So we should have... Pretty much everything covered now. Um, I think I'm gonna go with one more mechanic, because, I mean, we've got quite some distance, you know, for the mechanics to cover. So, we should be good now. Everything should be perfectly fine. Um, what to call this, though? The Haunted House. Yeah, let's call this Terror from the Deep. I think it was a crappy movie, but I'm not sure though. Alright, so... As a last act of awesomeness for this part, let's get them fountains out here, right? 
Hell yeah. Okay, so far so good. So, oh, and we can do one more here. So let's see how this affected the boat, the love boats. Look at that, it's bumped up quite... Wow, look at that. I think that's like half a, a point in excitement rating, which is good. So, let's do more good stuff in the next video. See you then.